Well, it's quite an ambitious title, the panacea exercise. So, uh, as you know, panacea is a, a Greek word for um, healing everything. I'm not sure if exercise will come under that title, but nevertheless, it does. It is highlighting to the oncology community uh, the role of exercise, and I think. Uh, even if we can change some of the attitudes of oncologists today to, to make them more aware of lifestyle strategies, it would be, a, it would be a, a good thing. The sessions actually got speakers from around the world who are experts in their own field, such as uh, Stacey Kenfield, who is really the sort of uh, fountain of all knowledge of, of lifestyle and prostate cancer. She leads a, a, an excellent study called the Health Professional Follow-Up Study. And these people have been doing research for years on, on the importance of lifestyle and exercise. So th there's a lot of data out there, um, and if you're in the field or follow it, you, you, you're convinced of the benefits of lifestyle and exercise. Unfortunately, the introduction to the talk this afternoon will be, uh, I'll be presenting that, and it's a survey from Macmillan, which looked at attitudes amongst doctors and other health professionals uh, on exercise and lifestyle, of whether they think it's appropriate to talk to patients about this. Less than 40% basically felt that it was their responsibility or role to talk to patients about self-help strategies and exercise, which is very disappointing because you know, exercise can help an enormous, uh, enormous part of patients' lives following cancer treatments, not only to reduce many of the toxicities, uh, such as fatigue, hot flushes, etc., uh, but uh, they can improve outcome. So, although panacea, is, as I say, is a bit ambitious, it is, you know, it does help a lot of people and it's cost effective, makes you feel better. Um, so, it's, it's, you know, I'm hoping that the discussion today will, will prompt a, a bit of change in the oncology community. Well, one of the speakers this afternoon is Dorothy Yang, who is a, um, she's a trainee doctor from Cambridge University who did a, uh, it's called a student selective project. They worked on it for, with another five students uh, over a three month period. And what the aims of her project was to see how many patients in a typical community hospital setting currently exercised. And it was quite disappointing to see that uh, there was about 10% had any degree of physical activity which would sort of kick in the, um, the anti-cancer property, so to speak. Uh, so that's 90% of our patients are not physically active. It was even more disappointing that we did a similar project four years ago and it was about the same level. So we haven't actually improved over four years, despite more information being published on a week-by-week -week basis showing the evidence of exercise. So as an oncology community, that's a very strong message to go out there, that we really need to be trying harder. Within her study, she looked at ways to try and communicate with patients and change the message to try and change their behavior. Many people are telling patients to, to exercise because it's good for them, but they actually know it's good for them. It's like when you say to a smoker, you shouldn't smoke because it's bad for you. Smokers know it's bad for you, but they really aren't convinced that, you know, the level of benefit of giving up, etc. And for exercise, what we found in the study was that patients were sort of worried about going to the gym. They were worried that their fatigue would be made worse. They were worried that their arthritis would be made worse. What we need to do is actually change the message to patients, say it's actually safe to exercise. Your symptoms will not deteriorate when you're exercising. They will actually get better. And I think along with other initiatives from Macmillan and other charities that we could improve and that's what we're aiming to do get the change the message and then repeat the survey in two or three years time and hope that we can get more people exercising